From the heavyweights, you drop right down to the 125, Skylar Petrie. Johnny Jimenez. I used to wrestle Petrie back in the day in high school quite a bit. Uh, he's been on the national scene for quite some time. And Johnny um, coming out with a huge victory the other day against Rutgers, winning the duel for him. Um, they're in the last match, 15 to 15, going into the 125 pound match. And Johnny uh, earning the upset over number, number 20, Sean McCabe, to uh, earn the batters a uh, team win. Jimenez in a nice shot there. He's gonna, he's gonna finish a nice takedown on Petrie. Jimenez so, so tough with that two on one. Been wrestling Johnny for years. Since about the age of 10 actually. He was actually, a, he was a big part of uh, my commitment here to the UW. Um, I knew, uh, you know, having him as a, as a partner and uh, some of these other guys uh, was going to help me, um, only going to benefit me uh, to the fullest. So, comes from such a great family as well. Marmy Academy, powerhouse wrestling program. Jimenez with the early 2 0 lead over Petrie. From the heavyweights down to the 125s. The level of competitiveness and aggressiveness has not changed in the slightest. Petrie 11 and 13 on the season, four and seven in duels. Still looking for his first conference victory of the season. The redshirt freshman was a 2014 Minnesota State champion. I believe he was actually a, a junior national champion as well, um, the Greco-Roman um, style of wrestling. What's that guy doing on bottom? Warning, bottom man! Fun fact, Jim has actually started wrestling uh, in the third grade after he was uh, constantly being bullied by a uh, uh, grade school bully, and uh, his dad had him uh, join the uh, uh, St. Charles Youth Wrestling Program, and uh, he yeah, hasn't looked back since, won four state titles, and um, it's kind of a fun little story. That guy wasn't picking on him for very long. Petrie coming off a loss to the second ranked 125er and Thomas Gilman of Iowa. He was pinned in one minute and 19 seconds in his last match. Gilman of Iowa was just so dominant. Before that, Petrie saw Sean McCabe. The man that Jimenez beat to give the Badgers a victory on Friday. Jimenez does a nice job of returning to the mat. There we go. Peachy right back up to his feet. Jimenez got to hold on here for nine seconds. It's just so tough in there. Oh, right there in the period. Could have picked up some back points there. And he goes up 2 0 in the second period with quite a uh, lengthy uh, running time advantage. So Pichu can't break the hands there at the end of the period. Johnny's got the 2 0 lead.
A little bit of a discussion there from the referees. Now going over to the Wisconsin coaching staff. Doesn't look like any more points will be awarded nor taken away. So 2-0 still the score here at the end of one period. Badgers needing a win. Keep this thing close. 10-14, Minnesota leads. Jimenez to his feet. Petrie trying to return him. And that's, there it is, Jimenez right back in on a shot. Nicely done. Jimenez wrestling especially tough today for the pretty bronze in the front row. Minnesota took its first lead of the day. And Brett Farr picked up a tech fall victory. And Michael Krails added to the lead, made it 14-10. And here we stand now, going back to the 125s. Caution on Jimenez. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Two matches still remain after this. And the day seeing number seven, Tommy Thorne from Minnesota. takedown for Jimenez. Bramble's got an ear-to-ear -ear smile. Jimenez's performance thus far. Hopefully he can carry this in on the third period. After the takedown now, Johnny's built up a 6-1 lead. Second period winding down. And just trying to keep this duel competitive here going into the final couple matches on the day. What time is it? Short time! Such a tough ride by Jimenez. You can tell just by uh, Petrie's uh, you know, physique, he's just so strong. Just a second left, so we'll be heading into the third period. A 6-1 Wisconsin advantage. And there we go, third period. 6-1. Three minutes and 30 seconds of riding time. I think Jimenez belongs in the rodeo. Minnesota chooses bottom. Optional start by Jimenez. Jimenez right back on the attack. Dressing so well there. He's so good from that overcollar shrug. Such great leg defense. And yeah, still, mate, we're back to center. Minute 20 left. Right back in on a shot. 
He is wrestling well today. Jim has very well coached over the years. Uh, he's part of the SCN uh, Youth Wrestling Program and the Overtime uh, School of Wrestling as well. Uh, he's carrying that gro great coaching tradition on in Harvard, Wisconsin. And uh, I think we're going to start to see Jim and his peak right here, right at the end of the season. It's perfect timing. For Skyler Petrie, he's a redshirt freshman. He competed in five open tournaments during last season, made it to the championship yes. match in three of those. Nice shot. Takedown. And he's going to cut him. He's got to get one more takedown here. And he will earn the major decision for the teams. pick up the major decision, but still an impressive performance. And uh, I think we're going to start to see big things here from Jimenez here at the end of the season. 